we've worked out that our poor form in the Premier League is actually our away form in the Premier League. And as today, we have the last home game in the Champions League league phase with two away matches to come. Let's hope that's not transposing itself to the Champions League. Hello and welcome to episode 33 of Irons in the Fire as we try and make West Ham good and great again. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games. Uh, Premier League match day 16 against Brentford and then uh, we have a match, uh, The uh, as I've said in the preamble, the last home match in the Champions League league phase, match day 6. Uh, two games still to come, they come in January um, but they are two away games, and if our uh, poor form in the Premier League away from home is transposed to the Champions League, we could be in trouble, so we need to go and win uh, today's games. A uh, couple of things to do. We have for you in just a moment the draw for the FA Cup third round. We'll go to pass mark for that one, and also... Uh, I'd like to say, if you do enjoy today's episode, please leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far, let me know where we're going wrong away from home, and uh, also, don't forget, if you want to keep up with what's going on on this channel, is the best way of doing it is to follow me on Twitter, at JustOffside2. Right, without any more to do, let's go and have a look and see who we will play in the third round of the FA Cup. Well, thank you very much to Future Mark. And uh, yes, the draw for the Emirates FA Cup third round to be played in January. Let's have a look and see who we are going to play in this draw. There are 64 teams left in the draw. Lots of uh, teams uh, looking for replays by the looks of this. So let's get underway. Bournemouth are first out. Bournemouth will play. Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield Wednesday of League One, I think it is. Oh, they've moved up to the Championship in this sphere. Crystal Palace, the Premier League, will play Manchester City in all uh, Premier League match there. Wigan will play Brentford. Fulham of the Championship will play Plymouth. Fulham versus Plymouth. Blackburn, also of the Championship will play York City or Exeter City. Birmingham will play Mansfield. Cardiff will play Hull City. Another all championship affair. Swansea of the championship will play Morecambe. Preston. We'll play Sunderland, all championship again. Portsmouth, lots of championship sides going out then. We'll play Oxford United. Oh, I think that's all League One. It is all League One, that one. Norwich of the Premier League. We'll play a Rochdale or Sutton United. Rochdale or Sutton United. Lower League affair, that one. Tottenham will play Aston Villa. An all Premier League this one. Aston Villa going well in the Premier League at the moment. Face Tottenham at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Arsenal will play will play Milton Keynes Dons. League one, I think they are currently. Or League Two, in fact. Leicester City will play Fleetwood. Stoke will play Everton. Bristol City, they're at home. To Chelsea. What a draw for Bristol City. Having knocked out West Ham in real life. We've got Chelsea in this sphere. Luton Town. We'll play Sheffield United. Dulwich Hamlet or Leighton Orient. We'll play Newport County or AFC Wimbledon. Somebody's going through to the fourth round out of that lot. 
Reading will play Leeds United. Coventry will play Brighton. Wolves will play Derby County. Wickham Wanderers will play Peterborough United. West Brom. They're going to play Watford. A little championship tie again, I think. Nottingham Forest will play Newcastle United, an all Premier League affair. Who's still left in here? Burton Albion in the South End. Blackpool, Bristol Rovers, Burnley, Carlisle, Huddersfield, Ipswich Town, Liverpool, Manchester United, Middlesbrough, Northampton, Queen's Park Rangers, Rotherham, Southampton, Swindon and ourselves. So still quite a few biggies in here. Let's continue. Middlesbrough are next out. They will play Northampton. Northampton of League 2, League 1. Manchester United. They are at Old Trafford 2. Queen's Park Rangers. They uh, welcome Queen's Park Rangers of the Championship. Ipswich Town. We'll meet Liverpool. Here, Liverpool travelling to Portman Road for that one. Swindon Town will face West Ham. We're going to trip down to the West Country uh, to meet Swindon in our match. I think we're not far off being uh, totally out, so we'll draw the rest. Rotherham will play Carlisle. Huddersfield will play Bristol Rovers. And finally, Southampton will play Blackpool. Oh, no, there's still some more to go. Uh, Southend or Burton Albion will play Burnley. That is the draw. And there are all the games for you. The third round of the FA Cup. And uh, we're playing Swindon Town at the county ground in Swindon. And uh, I'll hand you back to uh, future Mark. He will have a look at the schedule and tell you when and where we're going to play it. Thank you to past Mark for that draw for the FA Cup. And yes, we'll be playing Swindon Town at the county ground in Swindon on the 4th of January in game. Of course, so we'll be in the transfer window um, at, when we get there. Uh, FA Cup third round. Uh, so uh, we're looking forward to that. We'll see where we go. Um, since you were last with us, we've played two games in the Premier League. A home a Premier League game against uh, a Leeds United uh, was a 2-0 win. And uh, it was a bit of a dour affair. Uh, we had 17 shots, 9 on target, 2.30, 45% of the possession. You had a thought we'd have cracked this one. Uh, but it took us to the 61st minute to get a Jarrod Bowen goal uh, to give us the lead. Woba kicks this out. Kudos is equal to it. Finds Bowen, who was on side and... Uh, Puts it past Rodak in the Leeds goal. Gave us a 1-0 lead and it was squeaky bum time all the way through pretty much until the end. Uh, two minutes into injury time when Ward Prowse uh, got up to uh, put this one away. Alvarez, Ward Prowse, Ward Prowse putting it very deliberately in the back of the net. Two minutes into injury time. Uh, a 2-0 win against Leeds. It wasn't convincing even though we were at home. And uh, helped by a little mistake by the Leeds uh, team as well. Then we went to the uh, Walker's Crisp Stadium. I call it the Walker's Crisp Stadium. It's not really, is it? It's the King Power Stadium. Um, I think it used to be called the Walker Stadium at some point or other. A nil-nil draw against Leicester. Uh, they had five shots, one on target. Obviously defensive why? because you notice that Leeds only had one shot on target. Leicester have only had one shot on target. 0.53, 67% of the possession. That's the bit I'm not getting at the minute. We're not firing in the midfield. I, I'm not quite sure when. We got Ward Prowse back as well. Uh, we had 12 shots, six on target, 50%. It's good. 0 0.94, 33%. Uh, I just don't get it. I really just, I, I, I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to understand what is going on there. Uh, nil nil draw then in the Premier League. So a two nil win and a nil nil draw again. Our away form. If you look at the away games, Aston Villa one nil loss. Uh, home games, fine. Uh, away game at uh, Tottenham, lost. Um, and then at home to... Uh, sorry, away to Wolves. That was in the Cup. Uh, Premier League, uh, we were at home, lost to Everton. Um, Manchester United away, 
last one there so as you see it's a little bit of a pattern going on there um so it's the away form that we need to pick up on home form despite that loss to everton our home form isn't too bad um and as i say i don't want it to transpose itself into the champions league because there's too much it's down here that will cause us a problem if it does uh right some other news uh to tell you about um if we go into transfers no we don't want to go into transfers we want to go into finances uh we had about 14 million in the pot um but um the board have given us some more money to spend in the transfer window bearing in mind we're on the 7th of december transfer window less than a month away we need to start looking at where we need to uh shore ourselves up a goalkeeper possibly um 50 million roughly there or thereabouts we do have a number of players which is always usual about this time we have a number of players that uh, are being shamoosed technically shamoosed by other players or ollie watkins newcastle are after him thomas suchek uh, real madrid are after him mavrapanos has fulham and al nassar uh chasing after him they will have to pay the 42 million though um But Mavropanos, yeah, 42 million for Mavropanos. Uh, ben Johnson, his El Nassar are after him as well. They're going to have to pay top whack for him, 30 million or, there, or thereabouts. Uh, Danny Ings, which not too bothered about, is uh, being schmoozed by uh, Fulham as well. Um, and that's uh, out of the biggies. They are the ones that are causing us, uh, I'd say, grief. They're the ones that are likely to uh, be uh, off loading uh in other news we have uh, done a new deal with uh, kurt zuma his contract was due to run out in the summer um and we've decided to sign him up for another three years he's signed up he's on fifteen thousand a week less than what he was on uh so we've saved a little bit of the wage budget as well and uh he's happy we're happy it's all done and dusted all good and dandy and uh there's not much more you can say, really, is there? Um, the uh, medical bench, at Ben Johnson's just coming back. He had a bruised shin. He's OK. Uh, Raul de Thomas is still out for about six weeks with that hip injury. Uh, uh, Parisi is out for a further three weeks uh, with a twisted ankle. And as we know, Kurt Zuma has got a twisted knee. He's going to be out for two to four days. We'll miss um, the Brentford game, but should be back for RB Leipzig. Hopefully... Uh, that will be the case. Right. Um, we haven't checked the uh, Premier League out. We will check that out next. Uh, Manchester City are top. Everybody played 15 games. They're top on 37. Aston Villa are second on 31. Nottingham Forest are third uh, on 30. Pretty much the same even Stevens as um, Arsenal, who are also on 30. We are fifth. Uh, on 27, the same as Manchester United, but slightly better goal difference. Uh, Liverpool are in 7th on 26. And Brentford, who we play today, a six-pointer, as you will see. Um, they are just outside the European places on 25 points. Then come Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Leeds, um, Leicester, Tottenham way down in 13th, which is really, really surprising. Um, they are having a terrible time, 16 points from their... Uh, from their games they've only won four games this season newcastle norwich everton bournemouth uh wolves burnley and brighton in that uh bottom zone as it stands at the minute uh today's opponents at brentford they've won two lost two drawn one of their last five uh we have won two drawn two lost one it's exactly the same really um as them so uh we're on similar trajectory form wise just need to uh, make use of the fact that we are at home today right no more muddling around i think we've covered all the bases of all the things that need to be covered for you to know uh, what's going on um brentford have a full team to pick from we've still got parisi out and de thomas of course benarama unregistered he's likely to leave us as well in the transfer window um he's also being shamused um, we have played them twice in this series so far. Uh, we beat them 4-1 in the uh, corresponding fixture last season in the Premier League. Um, as goal scorers Creswell, Kudos, Watkins and Bowen on that occasion. In fact, uh, we have three up at half-time and Bowen just after half-time. So goals either side of half-time, giving us a 4-1 win. Pinnock, the scorer um, for them. And uh, when we played them um, in April in the Premier League at their place, it was a 2-2 draw. Uh, Kamada and Bowen on that occasion. Janolt after three minutes. Janssen uh, giving them the uh, lead after we'd got one back through Kamada. 
um, after 74 but Boeing saving our blushes on 79 minutes let's hope we don't have to save any blushes today let's go and have a look at the team that will face Brentford and in fact before we uh, go and have a look at that team that will face uh, um, Brentford for this one there have uh, been the early matches played we're playing at half past five uh, Liverpool and Leicester playing at a quarter to eight but uh, we are in the middle of uh, what's going on uh, Tottenham losing again they're down a 14th now uh, Crystal Palace are beaten by Burnley so Burnley have hauled themselves up nearly out of that relegation zone leaving Wolves and Brighton below them Brighton still struggling uh, somewhat at the bottom there Bournemouth are beating Everton by three goals to one Chelsea being Norwich 2-1 Newcastle beating Tottenham as we've already said 3-1 Manchester United beating Nottingham Forest by three goals to nil to leapfrog us and push us down a little bit uh, we're down into sixth place now um, in the uh, table so uh, we do have a game in hand and we'll certainly over uh, a couple of the teams above us so we could uh, actually position ourselves back above if we can get the result today that's a big if and uh, this is the team that will face Brentford And the team that faces uh, Brentford looks awfully like this. Uh, Ariola is in goal. Uh, Emerson, Friedel, Todibo and Kufal sitting behind. Uh, Suchek, Ward-Prowse and Alvarez in, midf in midfield. Need them to do more in midfield today. Samadic is sat behind Bowen and Watkins up front. Mazulia, Carrera, Mavrapanos, uh, Johnson, Zuma, who is, uh, he's picked up that knock and not 100% fit. Uh, Kamada, Paqueta, Kudos and Ings are on the bench. And here we are back at the London Stadium. Won three of our last five. Lost one and drawn one. And they've lost two. We've won two and drawn one of our last five. They're playing a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder. They're currently in eighth on 25 points. We are sixth on 27 points. Nineteen minutes on the clock. That ball headed on. Friedel there is to tidy up. Wall Prowse with the yellow card already. Alvarez. Watkins. Watkins has coup foul. Sue foul, should I say? Sufau's on his own to try to get it past Rea, but uh, no chance there. Probably should have crossed it into the area. I'm not quite sure why he didn't. Watkins putting it out wide to Sufau. And Sufau, I think, trying to go on his own. Ariola with a goal kick then. This comes out to Sufau. Who may rue that missed chance earlier. Puts that through. Watkins. Watkins in space, crossed it into the area, Samadic, and uh, looked like Rea saved it, but it's gone out for a free kick. I'm presuming Samadic must have been offside. Or if not, Bowen was. 30 minutes on the clock, Samadic with a corner. Deep one this time, but it's headed clear by De Silva. Bowen is there to tidy up. Bowen has Wall Prowse. Wall Prowse has Sufau. Sufau does it again. Sufau puts it away. And this time, his first goal of the season. And, um, well, after 30 minutes, we do take the lead. It's been hard work. We've been pretty dominant in this game. Just not so far found a way through. But we've been patient. And uh, finally get it. That's what Sufau was trying to do earlier, I think. Sufal with a long throw. I didn't know he could do long throws. Obviously, we've just found that out. Sufal then. And uh, he creates a bit of space. Toddy Boat. They were up for the long throw. Friedel. Friedel goes out wide to Emerson. But it was a poor ball in the end, really. Emerson not getting anywhere near it. But we've tidied up. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse out to Sufal. Sufal. Just cross this in, man. Oh, dear. He's got, he got tangled up with himself. Uh, but Ward Prowse tidies up. Alvarez, Alvarez to Suchek, Suchek out to Emerson, Emerson crosses it in, oh couldn't get there, Samadic holds the ball up, it's crossed in again and Suchek gets his eighth of the season, two up after 35, so two goals in five minutes and uh, it's been a long time coming but we've uh, 
managed to find a way through and uh, finding a way through twice in fairly quick succession. Raya with a goal kick. It's 41 minutes on the clock. Roslev, Collins, back to Raya. Out to Rico Henry. We didn't play a lot when we uh, had uh, Brentford I'm managing them at the end of FM 23. And that ball, we forced them into making an error. Todibo out to Soufal, who's having a good day out on that wing. Soufal, Soufal cross it into the area. And Samadic gets his sixth of the season. It's 3-0 uh, after 41. So uh, three goals in 10 minutes. And uh, sorry, 42 really. Three goals in uh, 12 minutes. And Soufal supplying again. Watkins leaving it for Samadic. I think that was Watkins. Yeah, it was Watkins. Left it for Samadic, who put it away. Half time comes. Uh, it's 3 0 at half time. 30 minutes, 35 and 42. Uh, Kufal opening the scoring. Uh, he also got an assist as well for the Samadic. Samadic getting an assist and a goal. And Suchek getting involved in the other one. Uh, so uh, we're okay. 12 shots, 10 of which have been on target. Should be a lot bigger score than that, but uh, not been quite so clinical. 2.12, 45% of the possession. They've had the bulk of the possession. They've only had two shots, though, none of which so far have been on target. 50 minutes on the clock. We have the ball. They've made two changes at half time. And ben Mee is one of those that's on. Kufal waving out there, wanted the ball. Uh, Sufal, Watkins, back to Sufal. Sufal comes forward, he crossed that in, and Bowen, the only man not to get on the score sheet, and he's got his 11th of the season, and Sufal scored one and made two. I make it 4-0 after 52 minutes. Lovely interplay, Watkins and Sufal. And Sufal's had an absolutely dominant game out there. And put it right in the spot for Bowen to put away. And with 70 minutes on the clock, we're making two changes. Well, you may feel surprised uh, or not. Uh, Soufal is coming off uh, for Ben Johnson. Um, all I can say is uh, he's uh, had an absolute cracking day. Probably got player of the match. Uh, and we're going to take him off just to rest him ahead of the game against RB Leipzig. I think uh, I'd like to think that it's job done. 4-0, um, and we've also taken off Thomas Suchek and brought on Lucas Paqueta. Goal kick for Brentford. Collins on the ball. Jeanault scored for them in previous. It's Ben Mee and De Silva. Whistle. Back to Ben Mee. And uh, good interplay by Brentford. And coming forward... And that's a bit of a worry. We're outnumbered here. Shade, and he's beaten Ariola. Shade. He's come on. Um, and he's made a difference. And they've, I think up until then, had only had two shots, none of which were on target. And now they've changed the complexion altogether. And with 79 minutes on the clock, making our final changes. Uh, we have taken off Edson Alvarez and brought on uh, Tilo Carrera in midfield. We've taken off um, Wally, uh, Ollie Watkins uh, up front, uh, brought on Kudos in his place. And uh, our final change is in the back line. Uh, Johnson moves over to the left. Mavropanos comes on in the right back position. And we have uh, taken off uh, Emerson, who is also getting very, very tired on that wing. And they have a throw in 83 minutes on the clock. I really don't want them to get any more goals at this point in time. Nice to clean, keep a clean sheet occasionally. I know we have done in the last two games, both against Leeds and Leicester. Trying to push them back at the minute. And Johnson getting there. Bowen, Carrera. Carrera finds a Paqueta. Paqueta through to Johnson. Johnson trying to wriggle his way across. Is that deep? Oof. Hickey had to get his uh, foot to that. Carrera to Johnson. 
Paqueta is still alive. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse uh, under pressure. Mavropanos. Can he do? Yes, he can. Uh, Mohamed Kudos, his second goal of the season. And, uh, well, he's down injured. Is he injured? Somebody's down injured. And we've used all our substitutes up. No, it's Bowen that's down. It's Bowen that's injured. Mavropanos with a throw in. Bowen is injured. He's got a potential foot injury. Uh, we can't take him off. We haven't got anybody else on the bench or any spare substitution, should I say. Johnson. Johnson. 5-1 as it stands. Paqueta. Carrera to Shamadich. And Samadich puts his seventh goal of the season away. Second in this game. It's 6-1 on 94 minutes. And, uh, well, interesting to have a look at the stat of how many goals we've scored in injury time this season. Seemed to score a lot late on. I think as their teams tire, Samadich brought that down lovely and put that away. It's all over here at the London Stadium. And uh, Shade, uh, his goal after 74 was all but a uh, consolation goal. We had 18 shots, 14 of which were on target. Uh, 3.76, but only 41% of the possession. So we did very, very well. Uh, Brentford having just three shots, that one on target that they scored. 0 0.20 on the XG, 59% of the possession. So despite all their possession, they didn't manage to win the game. Uh, we'll have a look and see what Jared Bowen's injury is like. Uh, but uh, Soufal picking up player of the match, and you could see why. He had three clear-cut clear -cut passes two clear-cut chances and two assists, as well as a goal. He's played an absolute blinder. And before we have a look at uh, the other goings-on in the Premier League today, uh, I can tell you that Gerard Bowen's out for just one to three days. Might be a little bit pushy for him against RB Leipzig. I'm thinking he may sit on the bench for that one, just come on if we need him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of a shame. Uh, Kurt Zuma uh, may be pushing it to get back as well. And uh, we also have uh, a long-term outs, of course, Raul de Thomas and Parisi, who won't be back for that game against RB Leipzig. So, with all the Saturday matches played, this is what it's looked like. Uh, of course, all the games have been played before. We talked about those. 6-1 uh, win against Brentford for us. Uh, Liverpool only managing a 2-2 draw against Leicester. Which means uh, with Arsenal and Aston Villa, uh, the only... Oh, in fact, Manchester City as well. Uh, three teams with games in hand at the top here. Um, it does mean that we are currently in third on 30 points ahead of Manchester United and Arsenal and Nottingham Forest on goal difference. But Arsenal could overtake us. If they win their game, we'll have a look in a minute and see who they're playing. Um, Aston Villa also uh, could move forward a little bit and uh, create that four-point gap between us and them um, if they were to win the game in hand that they've got. And, of course, Manchester City at the top could still be those 10 points clear of us at the top if they win their game. Uh, they will be playing on the... Um, That's the screen that we really wanted. Um, they will be playing on the uh, Sunday game, I think. Uh, Manchester City are playing Wolves. Arsenal playing Leeds. Aston Villa play Brighton. Aston Villa are going to win that then, aren't they? Um, at least we would expect them to. Um, they're playing on Monday at the uh, 8 o'clock kickoff. So what we're going to do is we go forward uh, as we head towards the game against RB Leipzig, which is on Tuesday uh, in the Champions League league phase. Match day six. Uh, we'll come back for that, but uh, I'll bring you back with news of what's happening in the Premier League in between. And before we have a look at the team that will face RB Leipzig, uh, the roundup of the other games, around 16 games in the Premier League. Arsenal beat Leeds United by six goals to one. Manchester City are beating Wolves by four goals to one. That man Haaland getting another two goals to add to his tally. And then on Monday, Brighton lost 2-1 to Aston Villa. And so the table looks like this. Manchester City top on 40 points. 10 points clear of us in fourth place. 
Aston Villa are in second on 34, just four points in front of us. Arsenal are three points in front of us in third. Uh, but uh, with that, by virtue of that 6-1 win, uh, though we're on the same points as Manchester United and Nottingham Forest, we uh, do have a better goal difference so far. Um, otherwise, everything's pretty equal with Manchester United. So uh, there we are, five points clear now of Chelsea in eighth place, just outside the European places. So that's quite good. We've opened a little bit of a gap up there again. Uh, Liverpool in seventh on 27 points. Burnley, Wolves and Brighton are um, in the drop zone still, but uh, Burnley having uh, won again, I think. Didn't they win again? Uh, did I see that? No, they did. They beat Crystal Palace. Uh, having won that game, have got themselves just in a good position. Three points uh, coming up soon, and they could very quickly get themselves out of that uh, drop zone. Brighton still struggling down there, and nine points, five points adrift of Everton and Burnley. Wolves uh, in the mix as well. So it's a very interesting battle going on down near the relegation zone. RB Leipzig then are our opponents for this uh, Champions League league phase match day six. And uh, they uh, doesn't show because I don't think we've got the game, the uh, uh, leagues loaded uh, for uh, Germany. So not showing. Only shows their Champions League and they've lost 3-0 to uh, Liverpool, 4-1 to Milan, 2-1 to Bastikas, uh, beat uh, Lyon 3-2, lost 2-0 to Manchester City. And they've got Olympiacos and Shakhtar still to come in the Champions League, both home games. So I'm sure they will pull up a little bit uh, with their home. Having said that, though, the two home games so far, they've lost, which uh, is, is a bit ominous, isn't it? Uh, so RP Leipzig, RB Leipzig it is then. Uh, they are without Hadera, uh, who is unregistered, uh, Simakin, who has a hip injury, and uh, possibly Cloisterman who has also got a hip injury. We are without uh, Benarama, uh, De Thomas with that hip injury, Parisi, which is a twisted angle, and uh, Zuma, who's doubtful with a twisted knee. There's obviously something going on in FM24 with hip injuries. And here we are, the team that faces RB Leipzig in this match day six Champions League league phase. Ariola continues in goal. Emerson, Mavrapanos, and Todibo. Johnson coming in for Sufal on the right there. Uh, not for any particular reason, but uh, we share the workload a little bit. And Sufal having such a fantastic game last time out. Whether he can reproduce that, um, we're not sure. But uh, the pair of them are quite good. Uh, Suchek, Ward Prowse, and Kahera are the uh, central midfielders. Samadic continues behind uh, Watkins, uh, but we have replaced uh, Bowen, who picked up that injury towards the end of the game against um, Brentford. And uh, as I said, he will start the game on the bench. Just uh, He's OK, uh, but uh, just not 100% there, so wouldn't be able to see the game out. So Kudos gets a start in front of him. And then on the bench, we have Mazulia, Sufal, uh, Kamada, Ings, Zuma, Paqueta, Bowen, Friedel, Alvarez, Mubalma, uh, Tarima and Orford. And here we are at the London Stadium for this uh, Champions League match, playing our usual formation. RB Leipzig. And uh, they're playing a 4-3-3. With a defensive midfielder. They're playing an all white tonight. Nine minutes on the clock, a free kick and Toddy Bow on the ball. Carrera. Back to Todibo. Todibo has Mavropanos outside him. Emerson. Emerson comes forward. Emerson will try and cross this in. He does. Puts it into the danger zone. And I'm not sure who that was. It was Kudos, I think, uh, who had his shot blocked. Carrera heads it back towards goal. But uh, we'll see it again. Emerson coming forward. Puts that into the danger zone and kudos straight into the defender. 
Shamadich with a corner. Crossed in. It's headed away. Oh, and Suchek off the post, I think. Walprouse has it, keeps it alive. Mavropanos, Emerson. Emerson now tucks it inside to Suchek. Walprouse, he's looking for space. Couldn't find it. Toddybo out to Johnson. Samadic comes in and this ball headed. Oh, Suchek hitting the woodwork. And a goal kick. I think it's a clearance, really. Emerson, Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse over the top. Kudos runs onto it. Kudos into the area. Oh, Watkins puts it wide. Good build up play. Very quick, very direct. And Kudos puts it in the right place. It's just Ollie Watkins just didn't get direction on it. Half time comes. No more highlights. It's nil nil at half time. And, uh, well, it's been a bit of a one of those, really. Uh, we've had seven shots, just the one on target. 1.33 on the XG, 46% of the possession. They've had four shots, none on target, 54% of the possession. Um, we need to uh, create more chances and be a bit more clinical in the second half. 63 minutes on the clock and a free kick, Rom. And Ariola puts it away. It's uh, gone straight out, though. Ball breaks. 65 on the clock. Toddy Bow to Emerson. Carrera. Carrera back to Emerson. Emerson looking for a way through. We need to get something here. It's a poor ball. Emerson. Suchek. Suchek! And Samadich with his eighth of the season gives us a lead after 67 minutes. It's not been pretty stuff. It's not been loads of goals like the game against Brentford, but resilient, I guess, is the answer. Suchek Samadic created a bit of space and puts it away. And with 67 minutes on the clock, that goal just been scored. We're going to make two changes. Emerson has come off. Kufal has come on. Ben Johnson moving over to the left side. Kufal out on the right. Uh, the other change that we've made is uh, Thomas Suchek has come off. He's had a reasonable game. Lucas Paqueta comes on to replace him. Enrique's on that far side with a throw in. They made a few changes. We need to check those out very shortly. And hope it doesn't bite us on the bottom in between, which it may do. A pender's in. Uh, it's all right. Kufal is there to tidy up. Ariola back to Kufal. Sufal. Keep calling him Kufal, but it's Sufal. Watkins, Watkins inside to Shamadich. Shamadich finds Johnson out on that right side. Referee playing on. It's into the area. It's come back off the post. It's gone back in again. And it's gone out for a throw. And with 81 minutes on the clock, we're going to make two more changes. Uh, Lazar Samadich comes off. Uh, he is replaced by Kamada in that uh, shadow striker role. And uh, I think that's his best. It's not his best position. His best position is advanced playmaker, which is what we will set, set him up as. And uh, Ollie Watkins, uh, he's uh, tired as well. And we've taken him off and brought on Danny Ings. A room with a throw. It's fired in. And Mavropanos sends it clear, but not clear, clear. And it's into the area and they've scored... And Ariola making a mistake, and it's uh, Pender gets it. Ah, uh, eighty-five minutes on the clock, and it's Ariola's mistake. A goalkeeper alert for transfer time. They should have put this away. Ah, uh, question of offside. I don't think he was. Uh, Toddy Bow playing him on but still Ariola should have had that and our final change comes uh, we've taken off uh, Ward Prowse and we've brought on Alvarez as our final change as we go and look to see if we can get this winning goal Mavropanos with a long throw throws it in Toddy Bow adds it on oh it's over the top from Carrera Toddybo with a flick on, but Carrera couldn't get underneath it. Rum with a throw in. Xavier. Carrera tidying up. Alvarez, who's come on. Kamada 
as we break out now. We have some fresh legs on this wing. Kamada, Ings, Ings out to Paqueta. Paqueta has Johnson out there. Carrera, Alvarez nearly lost that ball. Sufal, Sufal into the area. Oh, defender getting it back to the goalkeeper, I think. And he's going to fire one long. Mavropanos heads it down to Kudos. Alvarez, Alvarez, poor ball, but he's got another foot to it. And uh, couldn't control that. Whoever it was, was it uh, Ings? And uh, they've got the ball back. And danger ensues. Danny Olmo. Oh, two out here. Now well, we're in trouble. And uh, Appender gets his second. Question of offside. I think they were. They appeared to be well out in front. It is. And they were. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, two of them. And it's all over. It's a draw against RB Leipzig. And that is not good because uh, with two away matches coming, that might not leave us in a good position. We had 13 shots, only three on target. How different to the uh, Brentford game? 2.59, 50% of the possession. They had seven shots, two on target, 1.09 and 50% of the possession. Uh, don't like the look of that. Uh, let's uh, go and see how that leaves us in the Champions League table. So this is how the days uh, or the uh, f the uh, round of games have, has finished up. Tottenham joined with Antwerp 2-2. Celtic beating a Partizan by three goals to nil. Liverpool beating Rangers two goals to nil. Uh, we drew 1-1 with RB Leipzig. And, uh, well, yeah, that's uh, not fantastic. I think there were some games the week before as well. Um there was a round of games. I don't know why they played a week before, but uh, Paris Saint-Germain 1-1 draw. Barcelona drawing with Napoli. Um, so that is how it goes. We go to this round of games. Uh, Manchester City managing to squeeze past a hat-trick from uh, Haaland uh, to give Ajax... Uh, sorry, to give Manchester City a 3-2 win over Ajax. Manchester United losing to um, AC Milan, which uh, isn't good. And this is how the league table looks as we go into the final two games in January, I will recap, of course, but Milan, AC Milan on top, the only team to have won all six of their opening games in this competition. Manchester City have won five uh, and drawn one. Liverpool uh, have won five and lost one. Uh, we've uh, won four, drawn one, lost one. Uh, then come Marseille and Celtic. So we're on 13 points. Uh, a lot of teams on 12, a lot of teams on 11, a lot of teams on 10. It's still wide open to play for. We are guaranteed, though, a playoff place. So uh, we can't finish any lower than 24th is where I'm reckoning because uh, I think six points, isn't it? Um, so uh, as it stands, these teams down here can only get 12 points, Tottenham and uh, Lazio. So uh, we're guaranteed a playoff place, but uh, it's still wide open and open up for grabs. The two teams that we left to play is Copenhagen, um, who haven't won yet. Um, they're down in 32nd. And the other uh, team that we are playing from memory... Was it Sturm Graz? I've got a feeling it was Sturm Graz. And they're up here chasing us. They've won four, uh, lost two. Um, let's just check who we are playing. It is Sturm Graz. So that's going to be that's going to be a real humdinger of a match right at the end of the uh, the competition to uh, to go, especially if we're uh, looking for that last place in the uh, eight or something daft like that. Right, going to play Crystal Palace offline. Crystal Palace currently 10th in the Premier League. Uh, we're at home for that one, so hopefully we can pick up another Premier League win. Um, and then we are at home to Aston Villa in the uh, Caribou Cup quarterfinal. Lost to them just recently, of course, um, away in the Premier League. So uh, that's at home as well. So hopefully we can uh, do something there. And then we've got a trip to Anfield. Not going to be easy. They're seventh in the table. and uh, But they're not on a particularly good run of form at the moment. So maybe it's a good time to uh, actually play them. Uh, but we're away from home again, which, uh, as we've already established, is causing us problems. 
And we hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave us that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That keeps you up to date with all future episodes of Irons in the Fire and our other series uh, from the bottom to the top as they are released. Uh, new episodes of Irons in the Fire released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And the best way of keeping up to date what's happening on this channel is to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Hope to see you for the next episode. It's uh, going to be out on Monday. It's episode 34. It's Aston Villa in the Caribou Cup quarter final, and then uh, away at Anfield in the Premier League. Can we get a win away from home? We'll see. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.